Hello, I'm Alexander Minnelli. I'm a documentary filmmaker based in Northeast Pennsylvania, near Scranton. And I'm here today to show you the magic of the Canon multi-camera control app. I'm going to show you how to get your Canon cinema camera set up for Wi-Fi. I'll show you how to set up the app and then connect them both. One thing to note is you do need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network on your app and on your camera. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can use your phone's hotspot and connect your camera that way. When you open the app, this is what you see. There's a live view of your shot. And side note, that's a Razor Ramon 1996 WWF figure, one of the most sought after wrestling figures of my childhood. And I was so desperate to have one. And I bought one on eBay with one arm. So there you go. Fun fact. You see what camera you're using, what lens you're using, how much recording time is left. And then here's all of the controls that you have. So you can go in and, you know, change your ISO, make it brighter. And you can start and stop recording right there. So that's pretty cool. Change your, so right now, shooting in wide DR. And you wanna go Canon Log 2, and look at that. Right in the middle of a shot, no less. Just hit that, and there's your waveform, and you can change the size of it, and move it around. False color. So there you go. It's pretty good, and something I'll definitely be using, especially for this. I mean, if you've seen my earlier videos, there was that one where I was, I was so far from the camera that I was like, am I even in focus? I don't know. There's no latency, which I found kind of uh, astonishing. Usually if you're using some kind of Wi-Fi device, there's some kind of latency, uh, at least a second, but this is pretty spot on, pretty accurate. It was designed though for multi-cam. So you can actually connect up to four cameras on this, which is pretty cool and you can switch around, monitor them all, make adjustments to all of them. If you're shooting an, an interview, a lot of times you might do the two camera setup, you know, got to get the medium wide, got to get the, you know, the close up shot. If you can't bring uh, a second shooter with you, having this to monitor that second camera is awesome. It's also helpful if you're at an event maybe. I could see wedding videographers, filmmakers using this quite a bit. You set up a camera, a wide shot to capture an event, a moment, something, and you kind of roam around capturing kind of creative B-roll shots, you can, from your phone, monitor that wide shot at all times and even make adjustments if there's, you know, a change of lighting or something like that. And this app is free. It's free to anyone to download and use. So you can't ask for more than that. However, <laughs> This is Canon. So there are some quirks. There are some cripple hammer uh, limitations, if you will. So the app is only available on iPhone or iPads. Android, if someone has heard anything about if this will come to Android, please let me know. I just feel like that's missing like a huge piece of the market. It's like saying, well, this camera is only for men, not women. It's only available in English or Japanese. Yeah, no French, no Spanish, nothing, just English and Japanese. It's not compatible with every camera. So the only cameras this will work with are the C500 Mark II, the C300 Mark III, the C70, the C80, C400, and the XF605. One thing to note is the Canon C80, the C400, and the XF605 all have built-in Wi-Fi. However, the C70, the C500 Mark II, and the C300 Mark III do not, which means they require the addition of Canon's WFT E9A wireless transmitter. It's 600 bucks. 
just keep that in mind. If you don't have that, you can't use the C70, C500 Mark II, C300 Mark III with this app. You need that. 600 bucks. And if you're shooting with the R5C, just jump out a window, I guess, because it's not good enough, apparently, from Canon to warrant the use of this app. Um, obviously, another oversight from Canon. The R5C should be on the list to be able to use this app. It still has an entire dedicated cinema mode, so you can see on the app, um, you know, where the focus box is, what's in focus. You could even change it from autofocus modes, you know, to one shot or autofocus lock, or you can turn off autofocus. You could do all of that, but you can't select where you want it to focus. So I can't tap this and, you know, right now I could see that it's on my face, but I can't tap this and change it to the background. I feel like that would be an amazing upgrade. If I could actually change the focus spot on this app, I think that would be a big game changer. That is one big thing I hope kind of comes to an update in the future. Now there is an option on here for zoom. Canon's website says you can optically zoom, which optical zoom is the actual physical zooming in and zooming out of a lens as opposed to digital zoom where it would be like a fake kind of crop in, kind of like what your iPhone does or your smartphone. I did try out my Sigma 24 to 70 art lens and it was still grayed out. There was nothing I could do there. That's to me almost better than having the autofocus adjustment in the app. I'm imagining it's probably reserved for, you know, the higher end cinema zooms, um, maybe some of the newer RF zoom lenses. So if you have tried this out and your lens did work, please let me know what your experience was like in the comments. I would love to hear about it because to me, that's huge. Like the ability to actually physically zoom in and zoom out on your lens is crazy from an app. All right, so first thing you wanna do is go into your menu, go over to the network tab, and under network, you wanna enable, because I think it's set to disable. So you wanna enable that, and then you'll go down, and you wanna to go to new connection setting wizard. Scroll down to XC protocol. Hit okay. Create new, and this is where you'll pick your Wi-Fi. And then if you scroll down, you'll find your Wi-Fi network there. So you'll click that, and then you'll enter the password for it. So you enter your password, hit OK. You can choose automatic or manual. I'll just do automatic. Make sure you hit disable. Hit OK. So you're gonna create new function. And then here you can just kind of pick whatever you want. Uh, I just went with no authentication general user. I'm the only one using this camera, so click that. You're gonna to wanna to save that file to a destination marked unspecified. And then this will pop up saying you're complete. Hit OK, and you're good to go. Okay, so you're gonna open the app after you've set your camera for Wi-Fi, making sure you're on the same Wi-Fi here. You're gonna hit this camera icon in the top and then register a camera. And then you're gonna give it a minute and you'll see your camera pop up. There's the C80. And then it adds it to this list here. Clear out and you're all set. All right, that's the Canon multi-camera control app. I like it, I'm gonna use it, especially for these YouTube videos. Might use it for two camera interview setups. My next video 
will be the full overview, review, deep dive, in-depth look at the Canon C80. I've had it for a little while now. I've had a few shoots with it. I've really gotten to know the camera. We've become very close. And uh, I'll be doing kind of a deep dive into that. So please subscribe so you don't miss that. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. 600 bucks.